Hi guys, it's me here. I'm so happy to be with you this month. So I am going to make a mixed media mosaic. So I'm going to start out by grabbing a couple of stencils and I am going to grab some papers. Um, I really wanted this to be kind of a neutral palette. Um, so I am using just some really pretty like brown craft paper and book pages that are a little bit yellowed and you'll see I'm going to use some collage sheets too from Chum Petit. And then these are the two stencils that I'm using and I am just going to use them in a bunch of different ways. So I stencil with them and then now I'm adding some modeling paste with this beautiful like um, it's kind of a flesh tone color that I mix with modeling paste and I'm just getting as much use out of that modeling paste and that stencil as I can. So I wipe off the stencil just on a piece of just paper, um, book page paper, and I'm showing you how they all look and I just let them dry completely. Now these are the collage sheets that I decided to use. I just grabbed a piece of just scrap cardboard that I had in my stash and I'm going to make little tiles, right? Because you need tiles if you're going to make a mosaic. So I am just cutting them up and then I'm going to apply some of the collage paper from Sean's shop and I'm going to make little tiles. So you just glue it on the back or on the front of your um, scrap cardboard or whatever you want to use. I'm using scrap cardboard and then you just seal it. So I put the mat medium down on the actual cardboard and then um, I put the cutout piece from the collage papers and then I seal it with the matte medium. And then I'm going to allow that to dry. And I just made a ton of these. I really, you could absolutely just cut out kind of rectangular shapes um, if you wanted to, but I really wanted um, this to be kind of 3D um, where you could actually touch it and see the actual visual texture. I didn't want it to be like a two, a flat piece. So um, that's why I'm doing it this way, but you could absolutely just cut out the pieces of paper and arrange those in a fun way too. But You'll see now that I'm just cutting out pieces and laying them on top of the scraps of cardboard. And this is a great way to use your leftover cardboard. I love this mosaic. I definitely am excited to take this to even a greater level. I have lots of ideas with this project, so I'm super excited to figure it out. And I love um, these stencils that I'm using, especially this one. Um, I think that it's... Um, Oh, I don't know the name of it and it's not close to me, but I love that one with the black with the leaves growing. I think that's so beautiful. That's definitely one of my favorite stencils um, and it is available so you can grab it. But it's so beautiful. I've used it on fabric and with in all sorts of ways. So it's definitely one of my favorites, but I love it against the book page. It's just beautiful how it kind of peeks out. So we're just going to put the pieces down and keep gluing them on top of the just scrap cardboard. I use kind of a lighter cardboard for this, um, but you can use whatever you have. And I just put them on, you know, something that they wouldn't stick to just in case I got glue on the other side. Now I'm just going to take some of the pages that I did with modeling paste and the other pages and just cut out rectangular shapes. If you wanted these to be perfect tiles, you could absolutely get out your paper color or your ruler and cut them perfectly. Um, I don't like things perfect, so... <laughs> It was totally fine with me um, to just kind of hand cut them out. Now I'm going to get out a little canvas. This is a six by six canvas and I am going to paint it with that same beautiful peachy color. So, um, and I did add a little bit of white because when you're making art, it's good to have variation of tone. I just make think that it makes everything looks interesting. Now, this is all going to get covered up. <laughs> I definitely got excited with those little cardboard pieces. And this is just coffee. And I am just going to drip some right on there. It's just instant coffee mixed with water. But it is such a fun medium to use. And it kind of adds that aged kind of look and then I like the marks that the cap made so I am just going to add those and then I'm going to get out my spray bottle the paint wasn't completely dry so it mixes in with the coffee and gives this really beautiful effect so that did take quite a bit to dry but I love the way that it looks so this is it dried and now I'm just going to get out a brown ink pad and I'm going to ink around the edges of some of those um, cardboard pieces so just to give them a little bit of dimension 
and um, just to kind of grunge them up a little bit. So you'll see I'm just going to go around all of them. You could absolutely just use a makeup sponge and dip it in the ink. It would probably be a lot better for your, <laughs> for your um, stamp pads, but I live dangerously. So now I have this other um, collage piece of paper that I got from Sean's shop. And um, it is called figures which is so beautiful so there's all these beautiful figures and I really like this figure and I'm going to stencil on with that beautiful gold um with some gold on um this rose stencil so you'll see that I just wanted to add a little bit of interest just in case the background peeks out a little bit that is a great way to do it so it's so fun to just grab two stencils and just keep reusing them there's so many fun ways to use stencils so it's great and that looks beautiful the way that it is and whatever leftover paint I have I love doing that so I'll get out the stencil and I'll continue to stencil on tissue paper or I have a huge stash of deli paper so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna ink around this figure that I cut out and then I'm gonna squirt out some matte medium and I'm gonna stick her down Now I was gonna stick her in the corner but then I thought about the rules of thirds <laughs> so um, it just looks more interesting if you don't put things like right on the edge or in the middle of your canvas so I kind of played around with that and I put her you know where if you divided your canvas into three parts you know up and down vertical and horizontal um, she looks very pleasing there and now I figured out that the matte medium is not going to hold these giant pieces of cardboard so I'm going to go ahead and grab some tacky glue um, unfortunately I ran out of gel medium but if you're going to sell these um, it's probably better to use a gel medium but tacky glue works really really great for a lot of projects so I'm going to find that and you'll see here that I'm kind of pressing it down and I'm actually going to squirt it out and I'm kind of laying out the tiles to kind of see I was wondering if I just wanted one solid layer but I really want um, some of them peeking out so I'm gonna stack them on top of each other so you'll kind of see that so right now I'm just looking at the canvas trying to figure out um, what I'm going to do and what looks good and I'm gonna get that tacky glue out so this is just tacky glue um, I think it's Beacons tacky glue that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna lay out these pieces So it's great um, for those heavier pieces of paper Yes And then we're gonna go ahead and add and I didn't seal it I just applied it on the back and I will seal it with matte medium So that will definitely help the archival properties <laughs> Of the tacky glue and then I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put the butterfly ring. That's one of my favorite little pieces in there yes so yeah I'm just gonna keep adding the pieces um, to where I think that they should go this was such a fun part I definitely like this part a lot I'm um, just figuring out where I was gonna put those pieces and how it was gonna go together it's like a puzzle and I do use my scissors to cut them down um, to get them the right size so you'll see that I am alternating between the tacky glue and the gel medium or the matte medium and I also sprayed the back of some of the cardboard pieces and that just makes them a little bit more flexible you can do that with thick paper too and it works really really well so that's a good tip um, for collage but I like to use different weights of paper in my collage so I'm just going to keep arranging everything um, so it looks really really nice and pleasing to me and I'm going to press down on those pieces of paper um, you'll see that I will weigh this down so you'll see how I do that at the very end but I did leave it overnight um, just to flatten out some of those pieces because it's so thick um, it's easy for them to roll up so if you just weigh them down um, with a heavy book or something like that on the back of the canvas it works wonders so that's what I'm going to do and I love um, these collage sheets that I got I added this pink wallpaper one which is so pretty with that beautiful pink flower so that's fun to use and it's so great um, if you look at this piece it has so much texture and interest and I think that I could have probably stopped here but you'll see I'm gonna grunge it up a little bit um, it looked a little too pretty for me um, so I wanted to just um, add some more so you'll see me do that in a second 
and I'm just going to keep adding pieces until it's all filled up and you'll see as you see none of the background is showing <laughs> but hey I know it's there right that's the important part and I love that little piece on the left side um, that has the gold paint on it I tried to use that but it just didn't go I couldn't find a place for it so yeah and you'll see that I'm really pressing down on some of those pieces which is great and now I'm just kind of deciding um, I'm just trying to make sure that um, everything is balanced so with all my tiles I'm trying to make sure that there's odd numbers of them and that your eye kind of moves through that it doesn't get stuck on the canvas so I'm gonna seal the whole thing with my matte medium um, to make it archival and make it last for a long time hopefully and then I'm going to put down these little some more little pieces and at this point I'm like okay I think I like the way that the mosaic looks and you'll see that I'm just reinforcing some pieces and kind of seeing and I do like put the canvas up close and far away and stand it up just to kind of see and now I decided that this was a little bit too pretty so I'm gonna add some Indian ink so I just have some Indian ink my friend gave this to me um, I have no idea what the brand is it's in um, I think it's in Japanese so um, but any India ink will work great this is just black and then I have just my stack of deli paper just to scoop up some of that black ink and um, I'm just gonna kind of let it flow I sprayed it with water which you saw and then I decided well I have this gold foil so how about we frame her to make her because she's the vocal point to make her a little bit special so I'm just taking some matte medium and I'm gonna go around her um, and create a little border of gold so she is the centerpiece of this piece so yeah I just kept adding on to this piece but I really love um, the way that it came out at the end so I'm just gonna add little pieces of foil all around <laughs> you can also use fancy um, gold gold leafing glue but I find that matte medium works just fine um, so I use that and it's definitely sealed with the matte medium and the varnishes that I use so I never have to worry about it coming off so yeah so I'm just gonna keep adding that gold and then I decided well let's bring some of the gold and out just little bits um, into the canvas part too into the mosaic part with all the little tiles so I'm just gonna add little pieces in a few places then I decide well I want to kind of push everything back and grunge it up even further so I get out my deco arts gesso and I'm just taking my palette knife and making just some imperfect kind of splats of paint which I love so that's it for this project thank you so much for joining me I really hope that you have had lots of fun with me over this last year I've definitely enjoyed being a part of this design team and thank you Sean and I will hopefully see you guys around <laughs> okay take care and I hope that you have a wonderful day so here I am just weighing down the canvas so you just turn it around this is in real time now and I just had a big old pack of copy paper and that's the end guys so I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching bye bye